Now, Julia Kemp is Managing Director of the Academy Theater in Meadville, where they're currently in the middle of the production of the Rocky Horror Show. Julia, welcome. It's nice to have you. Thank you so much. Yeah, so for those who may not know, explain a little bit about what it stemmed from the movie, the Rocky Horror Picture Show in Pittsburgh, but this is a stage adaptation. Yeah, it, it opened in London in 1973 as a stage uh, version first, which a lot of people don't know because the movie was so popular. So um, then in, in 1975, they made the movie. It was at first a flop, but then it became a huge cult classic. And yeah, it, the kind of audience participation is well known, and that started in Pittsburgh with the movie. And so it's kind of been maintained in stage adaptations as well, including our production at the Academy. Yeah, so talk about how you're kind of encouraging your audience members down in Meadville to, to participate in, in the stage act. Absolutely. Um, we have prop bags available. That's one of the kind of famous ways to participate is people would bring in their own props and you throw things at the stage and at other audience members mm -hmm. when prompted uh, by, you know, certain parts of the script. And so that we have encouraged. We have prop bags for $5 available. We are asking that no one bring in their own props uh, because we want to kind of manage and make sure nothing too messy shows up. <laughs> So that's available. We also are welcoming audience callbacks as well. So during the show, um, there's, some, there's many moments when the audience is prompted to shout something back, and you can kind of look that up ahead of time or follow along with others that are familiar with those callbacks. And you can tell by some of the pictures of the show, the cast and the, the costumes, it is kind of, it's kind of freaky funny, isn't it? <laughs> it is, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. It's, it's kind of an ode to like B science fiction horror movies. Yeah. And so it is wacky. The plot is, you know, kind of zany. Doesn't always make a ton of sense, but that's not really what it's <laughs> but who about. Cares? It's about that what yeah. makes it good. Yeah. About having fun and rocking out, and that's exactly what we're doing. And you guys are running for the next couple of weeks, including on Halloween night. Not Halloween night, okay. but the 29th is okay. our last show, which yeah, is like the Saturday, Saturday before okay. Halloween, which is actually going to be a late night show. Wow, kind of. it's going to be a fun one. Uh, kind of owed to the midnight showings that uh, made the movie so popular. We'll be having a 10 o'clock showing on that last night. So Friday and Saturday, uh, 7.30, except for the 29th. How's the cast doing powering through all these weeks? Because it takes a lot of energy to it do does. a show like this. It's been great. I think the we have more fun each night. The audiences <laughs> have been incredible, and they just give us so much energy. You know, it comes with a built-in fan base, and the audience is already on our side before Gosh. we even start. And it is a really, really talented cast. We have a lot of our heavy hitters in this show, and we're so pleased. And so we're having a lot of fun. We're doing it two nights a week, so it's not too bad. We're right. anxious uh, every time we end Saturday's show. We're anxious to get back the following weekend. Do it again. Uh, so how do folks get tickets? You can get tickets um, online is the best way. That's the cheapest way to purchase your tickets, and that's at theacademytheater.org. Um, and you can also call in the box office or visit the box office in person. You can get tickets ahead of time or right before the show. So again, this weekend, the 21st and 22nd uh, at 7 o'clock, also the 28th, and then that special 29th showing at 10 p.m. Julia, thanks for being here. Thank you so much. Yeah. Glad to be back. All right. We'll be right back.